All right, good morning. Happy, happy Monday to everyone in our beautiful community. Uh, this is the first Monday of August, um, August 1st. Um, and welcome to our Monday morning miracle call. And used to be, well, it's still called the Monday morning chat. And uh, our beloved Judy Daniel used to call this our round table chat. So for those of us who have been around for a while, <laughs> you will recognize that, that term. And it's an opportunity for all of us in this amazing heart-centered community to come together once a week and share our amazing testimonials and stories. Sometimes we call it the live younger, believe it or not, or life wave, believe it or not. And uh, so we're here every Monday morning at uh, 8 a.m. Pacific for about a half an hour to share testimonials and ask questions. And my name is Michelle Niels, and I am one of the co-hosts along with Karen O'Neill. I'm in Fort Collins, Colorado, and Karen is in Colorado Springs. So um, just a couple little uh, pieces to get out of the way at the beginning um, that we like, Karen and I like to, to um, remind everyone that we are here to share um, our stories and our testimonials, but we don't make any claims. Uh, LifeWave doesn't make any claims for the products to um, prevent, heal, um, cure, diagnose any disease or disease condition. So especially for those of you who may be new, um, we will be using the, the uh, symptoms only when we describe um, how we felt before we used the patch, um, what patches we used and where, and, uh, and how we felt after. So um, we open it up and there's a, there's a there's a place at the bottom of your screen it says reactions for those of you who might not be familiar with it and if you click on that button um, there's a place to raise your hand so this is open um, we love to hear from all of you even if it's a story we've heard before um, it can help someone and also your questions please feel free you are welcome here welcome to all the new people that this is their first time on the call we um we love you we appreciate you we love what you're doing in the world sharing and caring um so we have a hand up um great we have susan elizabeth already great susan if you'd like to unmute sure good morning everyone good morning um, this is one of my favorite miracle stories so far um i had lunch last or last wednesday with a couple they're in their early 80s they had been on the patches for approximately two and a half weeks. Um, the husband in particular had real severe problems um, recovering from a certain virus. He was gasping for air at night, his wife said, while he was you know, sleeping. Um, real severe hand tremors, which I had seen two weeks before, you know, when, before they'd started on the patches. Just a variety of symptoms. And so to hear the joy at this lunch, right, two and a half weeks into it, the wife saying, oh my gosh, Susan, the other night, because he wasn't breathing heavy, she said, I put my ear to his chest to make sure he was alive. She goes, I haven't heard him breathe regular in so long, right? She said, I thought, oh my gosh, he's passed away in his sleep. He was just breathing gently and normally. And of course he's sitting there, he smiles. And she goes, and look what else, look how he's eating his, he was having some like cobbler. Look how he's eating his cobbler, no tremor, hand steady. So just the joy and his doctors had told him they had nothing they could do. There was no hope right in the medical world. And here we are two and a half weeks and she was also getting results in stamina, energy, mental clarity. What a gift. I mean, just the, I felt like the recipient of the gift to be able to be in the joy, especially of the wife who was watching him go downhill and now feeling all of this, you know, hope and happiness. So thank you, LifeWave. Thank you. Thank you, LifeWave, David Schmidt and Susan <laughs> for sharing your story. Yeah. Susan, was that X39 only? It was okay. X39 only. Okay, yes. awesome. And they, They've now signed up and they ordered a gold and are, are using other ones that they wanted. They had made the list for me of what they wanted when they came to this lunch. They were so happy about just the X39. Oh, yeah. Beautiful story. Thank you for opening with that. Thank you. Yes. 
Ted, you are next if you would like to unmute. Okay, now you can see my face. <laughs> Um, okay, so I have several success stories. Hold on, let me turn the TV off so you can hear me better. Um, I patched both my aunt and my cousin, both that reside in uh, Kansas, and I'm in Florida. So I did a Zoom, I sent them patches. Uh, my aunt Betty, uh, she's a little bit older, she's in her mid 70s and has had severe knee pain for years. like. 10 plus pain level. So I patched her, I did the triangulation on the knee. I did uh, the carnosine on the left part of the knee and the soft tissue below the knee, um, parallel to the right side of the knee and the soft tissue below the kneecap. I did uh, glutathione and then I did the Eon at the top. And within seconds, her pain level dropped to zero. Zero, less than a minute. I mean, it was immediate. She even stood up several times, sat up twice, zero pain level. I told her to take it easy today. She, of course, <laughs> she, take throughout the whole day, throughout the whole day, no pain. The next day, no pain. And then my cousin, Michelle, she's about my age. She's uh, early fifties, I think. Um, she's had severe trauma to her neck. Um, and uh, so she's got numbness down her left arm and just, I mean, all kinds of troubles, right? So I patched her with, uh, again, over Zoom. I sent her some patches and then consulted with her over Zoom. She did a uh, ice wave, tan patch at the C0, uh, white patch at the C6 and X39 at the C7 and Eon behind the neck, or I'm sorry, behind the ear on the mastoid bone on the right side pain level down to a two and then it finally dropped down to a zero wow and one more success story if you'd like to hear it <laughs> sure <laughs> you're on a roll ted <laughs> i'm on a roll baby. Um, so um i'm working with this uh spa at a country club that i used to work at in um southern hillsborough county south of tampa anyway so uh there was a client there club member that has uh, neurological, I'll just say neurological issues, right? Um, tremors and he's got a, a problem with his gait and uh, um, just, he, anyway, so anyway, so we start, he uses a cane, was using a cane. We passed him with the X39 and Eon. We gave him a sample one day and the next day he was going to go to, um, an art show of some kind nearby he did when they put the his wife patched him that, that that morning and normally he would have to sit down several times to rest because of the fatigue hardly sat down at all and now he signed up as a preferred customer and now he's walking without a cane and better yet friends and family are noticing how good he looks and how much better he looks and just how much of he's Im improved. So they're just fantastic. And what's, what's, what's cool and very creative, Ted, is that you did this over Zoom. What a great idea. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. Or, you know, if you have FaceTime, if you have an iPhone or I don't know what Android right, chat. Exactly, but, exactly. Video chat. Some video, video chat, video chat. Yes, that's a great idea. So someone in the chat um, asked, oh, can you, re oh, Robin answered, carnosine, glutathione, and eon on the knee. Someone asked what the three patches were, carnosine, right. glutathione, and eon. That's right, yep. And you know, I, my, my hunch is you, it doesn't really matter. I don't think you have to get too you know, OCD about which, which one um, goes where. I think you can experiment. I know you said the uh, eon went at the top of the knee, but for some people that might be eon on the inside. So it's- That's right. You know, just play with those three. Yep. yep, Ted Y age three. I like that. Someone Heidi put in the chat. <laughs> We're gonna think of you as Ted Y age three, the trio, the trio. <laughs> All right, Ted. Thank you so much. Great share Bye. this morning. All right, Heidi. 
So I'm sorry I'm off video today. I have an appointment that I'm going to be scooting off to and I'm not quite presentable, but I have a, an amazing story that happened last week, Wednesday. Um, my daughter, she's 16 years old, fell and shattered a piece of glass right into her, um, her, her hand. She was in the urgent care and she lives an hour and a half away from me. So I all of a sudden remembered that I had a client that literally works across the parking lot from the urgent care who I had just sold four days before an ice wave pack. And I said, dude, can you walk this over and put it on my daughter? And I said, I, I patched you up, just do the same thing um, that you would have done on your knee on her hand. So he actually, didn't wasn't able to enter the urgent care because he's like wearing his scrubs and he's like working in a different part of the hospital anyway my my former spouse walks out in the parking lot and they were like literally instructing each other and then they walked in and I have a picture of her from four days later yesterday and then the before picture right in that side the urgent care and her swelling and this is from ice wave her swelling I didn't realize it worked for swelling as well. I just thought it was pain. So that's oh. my testimonial for the day. Beautiful, Heidi, your, your, your baby girl. I yeah. Saw, I saw a picture of, of, of her hand. Yeah, Heidi sent me a photo and that would be worth sharing maybe with Dr. Joan. They like to post those on their newsletter, their Dr. Joan's newsletter that comes out about once a week or every other week. Okay. Yeah, the before and after, you know? Oh, I didn't get an after. It's just visually in my head because I, oh. I didn't have my phone. I, I actually interrupted her church session. I literally walked in, sat next to her, and then I walked out because I'm not invited into her particular congregation. But yeah, I didn't bring my camera to take the after shot. It's just in my head. I'm like, oh my gosh. Well, in even the next time you see her, you know, just to show how she's recovered, you know? Yeah. After At her next cross country meet, hopefully she'll be not wearing her hand all strapped in blue tape. Aww. Thanks, Heidi. How how amazing. That was some serious angels. Like you had someone right there that had patches and you were three hours away. You couldn't get them to her. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> wow. Thank you for sharing, Heidi. All right, Ravel, go ahead and unmute. You're next. Good morning, Michelle. Good, good, morning. good morning, Lifeway family. Just wanted to share a brief testimonial of. Deb Vaughn, a new distributor in South Dakota. And if you're on this call, Deb, and you'd rather give your testimonial yourself, please go ahead. Um, she did give me permission to state her name and the details. So what she has shared after about a month on X39 is that she used to wake up 20 or 30 times during the night. That's not happening anymore. Last week, she had two nights of her best sleep that she's experienced in the last two years since a very serious accident. It was lovely to hear. And she does, she feels less discomfort in her joints and she's able to walk further. So I'm so grateful to Dr. Sandy Kratzer of Minnesota to share this with, um, with Deb Vaughn. That's it. Thank, Thank you, you. Yavel. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to share a little, a short one. And while we wait for other people to put their hands up and we want to hear from you, please don't be shy. There's a lot of love here. We're just going to be bombarded with love bubbles. So um, I, what was it yesterday morning? I was awakened at about six o'clock, which, which I sometimes get, I'm often up before that, but this particular time I was sound asleep. <laughs> I was awakened by an intense cramp, like a Charlie horse on the side of my calf. It is the worst way to wake up, especially if you're in a deep sleep. I was in a very deep sleep <laughs> and all of a sudden, boom, I just shot awake and it was, it was starting to go into my foot and I could see my toes, you know, how they start to do the weird curl thing. And, and I took the Eon off the back of right behind my right ear and I put it, and I was so out of it, I was so groggy and I just found the most sore spot on that cramp and I put the Eon patch and within, and then I was, I was about to go and get the supplement that I chew up and that usually, it usually takes about four or five minutes to work. Well, I was starting to walk cause it was, it was so bad. I was starting to go to the kitchen to get that. And I would say within less than a minute and a half, the cramp was completely gone, completely, not even, not even a hint. 
And sometimes, you know, those cramps will sort of go away and then you take a step and it comes back. <laughs> so it was completely gone with an Eon patch. So I learned that from Robin, you know, you keep the Eon patch on at night. And then if something hurts in the middle of the night, you slap it on that spot. <laughs> so, all right, we have Ly Lida, is it Lida? Okay, Lida, hi, welcome. You wanna unmute? Hi everyone. Good morning. I have I have an amazing story that I must share. It's my first time on. Um, I'm a new uh, new manager, and I woke up one day and I had vertigo, and I sat up in bed and something was like way off, and so I kind of flopped back down to bed, and I had it so bad that I had to crawl to the bathroom, and nothing was going to allow me to stand up. And um, my upline said, well, do you have any of the energy enhancers? And I said, well, give me about 15 minutes. I got to crawl to the closet. So I get up in there and, oh, thank God I got the energy enhancers, get back in bed. I had an X39 in the back of my neck. And, um, and this was, you know, set on one of the things that helped somebody else. So we tried it white on right and back of the ear right in the soft spot. And then the tan one on the other side fell back asleep. And when in three hours I stood up and I'll tell you, I would have paid thousands of dollars to get out of that spin. And it has never happened to me before ever, but I will never be without them in case that happens to me again. But I just want to share, if you've got vertigo, you can get out of it. Light a beautiful share. I'm going to just give you a little, uh, a little tip a little um, of how to share on the, the condition. We don't name um, a disease oh, name. Okay. And that actually would probably consider it a diagnosis, right? But if, but when you, a little bit later in your conversation, you said uh, spinning, you know, like the room is spinning. So okay. you can use like how you felt like it's spinning. It was hard for me to stand up. I felt unsteady on my feet, you know, and then people will get the idea. So, great. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you you're, very much. You're, you're welcome. We're all learning here, but what a great share. And I've had that condition myself. And um, I'm really happy to hear that. energy. that makes sense. Dr. Walt used to talk about the energy enhancer, you know, helping the energy flow and move. And it's a condition of the inner ear. It's something, there's something about the little crystals in there that get out of place or something. <laughs> yes. So that moved some energy for you. Yay. Thank I you. I hope that helps anybody that may come across that. Thank you, Lida. Thank you. All right, we have 87 wonderful community members here. Who else would like to bless our community with a share? Tina. Hi, Tina. I will share. Okay, I will share. This weekend, I had a family visiting with me, and my sister-in-law was having problems with pain in her hip. So I decided to use the ice wave on her hip and see if that would help. And I put the tan patch on the spot where her pain was. And then I took the white patch and went around in the circle. And she said, oh, there. And it was my first experience with ice wave with somebody that could really tell a difference when you put the patch on that way. So it was really fun to give her some pain relief. When you say that was the first time, Tina, what do you mean? The first time that you've actually done the application on someone? No, it was the first time I've ever heard somebody say, oh, I can really tell a difference immediately. Mm -hmm. Wow. How many times did you have to use the white, move it? How many times did you have to move the white patch? Just three, three times. Okay. Have you seen the video that Dr. Barbara Jennings and I did? No, uh, if I did, it's been a while ago. I okay. should look at it again. Okay. Yeah, take a look. If anyone on this call needs a little help with ice wave, uh, Dr. Barbara Jennings, um, who's in our community, and she's a chiropractor. Uh, she and I did a, about a 10-minute video, um, and I, it's on it's on the Live Younger uh, Facebook group. It's also, I think, Robin, is it on our um, Live Younger YouTube as well? Dr. Barbara and I, I don't know. In the Live Younger yeah. Success <clears throat> and um, in okay. the YouTube. Yes, okay. YouTube and Live Younger Success, Robin said. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we've got Sun Shower and then Anne Marie. Hi, everybody. What great stories. I, I love this call so much. <laughs> and, you know, I've been around two years and I still am learning all different ways to use these fabulous patches. So um, I thought I'd just share something that my sponsor, uh, who's a homeopath, uh, 
showed me to and so so say you're in front of somebody and you happen to have your little your little uh, live younger zippered uh, little bag and you have your little first aid kit of patches in there right including energy enhancers and so what she showed me works so well for people who are like oh this can't work what are you talking what you know they're like it is it's unbelievable what these patches can do right so she says um just uh, take your energy enhancer. So the one is tan and one is white. Left is for, you know, the tan. White would be on the right. Okay, so they don't even need to take off their shoes. You don't even need to take the peel off of either patch. Put them on the floor facing up so that the patch, if it was peeled off, it would be facing the body, correct? <laughs> and just wait. I just have a chat with them about whatever you're either talking about life wave or something else. And suddenly they go, Oh, I'm feeling something here. Now it's different for everybody. Um, I have a lady that um, has a particular um, autoimmune dysfunction. And she said, I'm feeling a tingling in my feet. And she, and a few minutes later, she goes, Oh, it's going up into my calves. And she also says that she's not able to, when she touches things, she can't feel things. She goes, um, my hands are tingling. So try that with people. It's, it's a pretty cool. I, I love uh, that. Kind of like a parlor trick, <laughs> a little magic trick. Come here, come sit down. Like, put these patches on the, underneath your feet. Well, and you know, is there anything else that works as instantly? Nothing. I mean, oh my gosh. And, and it's, and it's actually, if you have a person with some sort of discomfort in some part of the body, ice wave is almost immediate as well as you, right. many of you right. do know that. Thank you, you guys. Thank you, Sun Shower. I love that. We have the science. If people are like, some people just look like, no, that can't be. Well, we have science and you don't even have to know all the science. You can point them, right? You can point them to the science. <laughs> Lots of that on our app as well as uh, on our websites. Um, all right, Henri, you are next. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Michelle. Hi. Um, they just raised my hand for Linda Miller, who's on from Washington State. She's an RN and she has a great story and I'm not sure she could get her hand raised on her device. So Linda, can you unmute? and give your great story, hopefully. <laughs> if not, I might give it for her. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think we're hearing Linda. So um, I'll just go ahead and jump in. Um, Linda told me just yesterday that they have a big Suburban and she's had such a hard time, you know, standing up to the running board to get into the Suburban and, uh, she just noticed it was just like oh i'm getting into that suburban now without having to pull myself up and complain and you know sigh and everything else she said i realized it's at x49 she has worn it just about every day since it was for sale i guess what november since it was introduced and she says because of x49 she is very agile now and jumping into that suburban <laughs> So did, did you say 49 or 39, Anne-Marie? she'd been wearing 39. She's a diamond, so she's got love. Okay. Had she uh, had the 39, okay. but started on the 49. Okay. In November. Awesome. Gave, her that, gave her that extra punch. <laughs> it did. It did. It was pretty awesome. exciting. Okay. So someone, I think this might be our last, uh, our last question or, or um, share because we're getting close to the bottom of the hour, but um, Ann Morrow asked for someone to share a skin story. And then Heidi, because we have such a great community, people are just jumping right in. And Heidi said um, she would share a story on Alavita. So um, Heidi Noel Miller, if you'd like to come on down, you are the next contestant. <laughs> come on in, unmute and, uh, and share. Okay, so I'm unmuted, but I'm just gonna do a headshot here. Um, so I have been using Alavita since, um, May 26th. I've been on X, I've been using X39 since February 22nd. I took a before picture of my appendicitis scar, which 
wouldn't be appropriate to show you right now, but I do have pictures that I do want to post on the um, Facebook group. I actually wore X39 right on my appendicitis for the first week. They said to put it under the belly and I'm like, oh, I'll just go three inches over to the side. So I wore it, um, the X39 for the first week. Um, so February 22nd to whatever seven days later was. And um, then I started on the Aloe Vita. Well, I've been taking pictures every 30 days and I just barely showed my girlfriend that saw me out of the hospital. She's like, Heidi, I can't tell that you had your appendix. I mean, I just barely showed her yesterday. I pulled down my tennis skirt and I go, check this out. She goes, that was your appendix situs right there, right? And I'm like, yeah, you can hardly see a pencil mark now. Beautiful. Yay, Heidi. Uh, yes, and you know, X39 alone can do um, to, can re do scar remodeling, but I think that that the Aloe Vita is just you know specifically targeted to the skin. Does anyone else want to share one about the skin, and then we'll turn it over to Robin and Gregory? Is there anyone else that wants to jump on and share a skin story, any kind of healing of your skin? I can. Oh, Hi, this is Jana. Hi, Jana. You just got here. I'm so happy you jumped on. Hi. Oh, no, I was on the phone, but it doesn't show up there. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I, just want to, I just want to say um, two, two quick things. One, just about the creams. I live in Arizona. My skin is like super, super dry here. And using the creams, which I just started when they had their last um, offering, you know, their last special. Mm -hmm. um, my skin is like so hydrated and so tender and soft. I, I can't even describe it, but that was about the creams. And the other is that I had a care, I don't know. It's just like a, a raised brown spot, you know, how you get when you get older. And um, I put the olive on top of that and sometimes I would do the Aloe Vita and the X49, X39, and it's going away. It, it's like little pieces of it are coming off. Oh my gosh. And I had it burned off a couple times and it grew back, but now it's just kind of peeling off. It's amazing. Beautiful. And that was on my face, so I'm happy to see it go. <laughs> Beautiful, Jana. Did you wear the patches during the day or at night on your face? No, at night, you okay. know, it was night, because it's on the <laughs> side of my nose, and I was oh, okay, gotcha. going to walk around with it. <laughs> <laughs> I know some people do it as a conversation starter, like, you know, right on the third yeah. eye or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay, well, Nana. Well, well, under my eye. <laughs> Thank you so much. Didn't do it. Okay. Well, this has been a great call. I'm going to turn welcome. it over to Robin and Gregory, but uh, I have a special announcement as Robin and Gregory open up their cameras. There is a very, very, very special man who's having a birthday tomorrow in our community. And I'd like all of us to sing happy birthday to Gregory Mascari. So Gregory, will you take your face on the camera here so we can see your beautiful smile? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Where is that handsome guy? Gregory, all right, ready everybody? His birthday is tomorrow. We're gonna wish him happy birthday right now, our whole beautiful 86 people. So uh, can we do a global unmute, Gregory? Uh, everybody can unmute themselves. Okay, unmute. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, so happy birthday, Jason and Gregory. We should probably do a global mute again, Gregory, and then you guys can make your announcements. But that was so much fun. I'm so glad we got to do that with you. That was fun. Thank you, Michelle. That was wonderful. And big 7-0 tomorrow. <laughs> so I certainly don't feel it. You know, thanks to these wonderful products. So I think Robin's going to talk about our special call tonight. So uh, go ahead, Robin. Yes. You have to unmute. You have to mute. 
Okay. Well, thank you everyone for that. Yeah, in honor of Gregory's birthday, we're going to do a replay for tomorrow night and have Dr. Jeff on, who is actually in um, the Philippines doing wonderful work, very exciting things going on there. And um, tonight, oh my gosh, we have a lot of people to celebrate. I have been putting this list together. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but <clears throat> if you have someone in your team that has rank promoted during this promotion, we want to acknowledge them in the newsletter. So please message me name and rank. Um, I have a lot, but not everyone makes it to the Facebook group. I know a lot because I'm working with a lot, but it was wild getting everyone <clears throat> ranked up yesterday. And uh, dear precious Kay, excuse me for a second. Dear Precious K, LeBecky made it to senior director and then two days later made it to executive director by 10 o'clock last night and um, send her extra healing prayers because she's not feeling very well. Uh, she went to celebrate in Las Vegas and came home with something and we don't want to name anything, but um, just know that she's healing and she'll be better soon. But uh, we have so many people to celebrate and so tonight we're going to celebrate rank advancement. Are we going to talk about the um, conference prep or just celebrate people? Have a few people on. We'll let you know, but it's going to be a fun night um, in celebration of so many people. I mean, I have like, there's dozens of names I think I have here, but please let me know. Managers, directors, senior directors, executive directors, um, we got close on a senior presidential. It'll happen soon. And on a presidential, that'll happen soon too. So um, things are growing and you guys are doing fabulous. And the best part about rank promotion is how the team has been working together because people are really reaching out and working together. And it's been, it's one of my most fun things is to just be part of and experience how you know, we all are lifting each other up and it, and congratulations to each and every one of you. And if you are one of those, um, please private message me and let me know. Or if someone in your team has made a new rank during this rank promotion, I, you know, we, we want to catch as many people as we can and uh, celebrate you on the call tonight. So thank you everyone. And thank you for Gregory's birthday wish. We're having just a small family gathering tomorrow. Um, just the family, you know, it's been a little challenging with what our family's been going through lately. So we're not doing a big t float down the Yellowstone, which is what we usually do. We're just gonna have a wonderful family barbecue and be together, which is what's most important right now. Okay, I think that's it. Oh. Thank you everybody for being here. Michelle, beautiful job as always. Um, we love being with everyone and uh, excited for what's unfolding and we'll be giving more convention updates. I oh, so. I do wanna say that um, we talked to Emily last week. They did sell out at the convention. <laughs> they reconfigured the stage and so they opened up a few more seats. If you have anyone on the fence, uh asap get a ticket come on okay? the that is all for now all right thank you so much Bye. everyone really okay, appreciate everyone. your participation thank Have you michelle thank, thank you, you thank you thank you, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. happy birthday gregory thank you and happy birthday gregory. Birthday, gregory thanks for your investment happy thank birthday job, michelle Bye. thank you have a great thanks day thanks for all the good stories you're getting happy younger birthday, gregory, gregory. I am, I am. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yep. Growing and happy in. birthday yesterday, <laughs> Kathleen. Oh, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> uh, Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. everybody. Bye. 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 You look fantastic, Gregory. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>